All right, nail it through here. Oh, sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. Oh, the Range Rover ate it. Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. Today's gonna be a really cool day because we have teamed up with our good friends over at GT Omega, the people who make my chair that I sit in literally every video. They hooked this up with a chair to give away to one of you guys, as well as some other extra goodies. So, why don't we go into Forza Horizon 4, do a little bit of a challenge, and have some fun, and the person who we deem is the best will win some cool stuff. All right, so this is gonna be our lobby for today. I literally don't recognize anybody's name. Usually, when we do a challenge in Forza Horizon 4, we always try to find like the best race car, the best A-class car, the best blah, 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 blah. Most of the time, you're not doing anything too specific and you're constantly jumping from thing to thing to thing. Why don't we try to find the best all-rounder car? The best car that can do everything. We're gonna make it S1877 on the dot. You are gonna wanna build a car that can go off-road, on-road, jump everything. Yo, Ninja! Love her content as much as that chair. Hey, thanks, man. I'm gonna be brave, and this kinda worked for the Elgato series. Guys, what car should I use today? Wolf says take the Willy's Jeep. Oh, the King Cobra. I just worry a little bit about possibly taking this thing in the snow because we might do that. Everybody's saying I need to take the RS200. I think it's a boring choice, but I think more the struggle that I'm gonna have for this thing is trying to make it fit S1877 exactly. Because, like, it's so fast and it's so grippy, right? Wait, I can't even... I can't make it reach... All right, the RS200 is off limits. That doesn't work. I honestly don't think the normal RS200 is gonna be that crazy. Where even is it? Wow, this thing's already S1 class as well. Okay, so I really don't even have that much room for upgrading, boys. I think you guys might be screwing with me. We've got 500 horsepower. We weigh two and a half thousand pounds. I don't think this is a car for us. I think I want to put a front splitter and a rear wing on here because I don't know if we're going to be taking this on-road or off-road. I think that's going to be good. I don't even know what season we're going to be racing in. So somebody's saying use a Lamborghini Huracan. If you want to use a Lamborghini Huracan, I applaud you. I think that's going to be a pretty good build. 877 on the dot. That's exactly what we need. 600 horsepower. So if I lack somewhere, it's definitely in the power department. Two and a half thousand pounds but a hella, hella lot of grip. I'm just primarily worried if somebody's gonna rip out like a car with like 1,500 horsepower. All right, let's see, let's see what everybody else has brought. On quick observation, it looks like everybody's gone with like the, the rally car theme idea. So we got the 959, a GRC, uh, ra, da, 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 a mission scandal. We've got a da, 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 Skyline. Why do I not know my car names today? Subaru, awesome. Range Rover, awesome. That's an interesting choice. That is a brave choice. One guy is not fo- A lot of people have not followed the rules. You remember when I said S1877 exactly? Some of you guys don't know what that means. I guess while we wait for those guys to fix their cars, I can explain how the point system works. Well, there's 12 people per race, right? So we're gonna sort of inverse the position with the points. So if you win first, you get 12 points. If you come second, you get 11 points. If you come 12th, you get one point. We're gonna do three races. The person with the most amount of points after the three races is the winner. I don't wanna push it too hard on the first race. We're gonna head over here to one of my ra favorite racetracks that we haven't done in a little while. And we're just gonna do a normal race in the middle of the summer, three laps, no collision. Welcome to race number one of our GT Omega mini tournament. Let's give it a go. I have a feeling that Aston Martin 177 is gonna have a huge advantage here. There's an Audi RS6 that I didn't actually recognize before. That could do quite well, as well as the Subaru. Starting from the middle of the pack, collisions are turned off, boys. So no need to worry about people crashing into you. The 177's already glitching all over the place. That's gone extremely well. And I'm currently sliding all over the place. This thing, it's not gonna be strong in any one area. This thing's gonna be strong 
a little bit everywhere. I think this will work. Uh, the 177 has some major internet issues. Also, it seems like I have some major power issues. I cannot keep up with these guys. At all. I- I've got way more turning ability. I've got way better handling. But my ha but my top speed is garbage. Like I was saying, my worry was 600 horsepower wouldn't be enough. Come on. Hard on the brakes. Hard, hard, hard. Shift to depth. Jesus Christ, man. Seriously? I'm just gonna say, if you're gonna wall ride, you're gonna get kicked out. That's how we're gonna play this. Look at that for turning. We're up in sixth place. Already on to the final lap. This is not good. The 177, okay, the 177, he literally has Tesco internet. Seriously. All right, the guy in the GTR uh, SL12 loop, you've just been disqualified for uh, entering the corners that way. He's got that Asda internet. Oh my God, yeah, look at him. Look at the 177. I can't actually tell who's winning from back here. It's a bright pink car. I don't know what that is. Get some more. Get some more overtakes. Keep in mind this fourth place guy is disqualified, so technically fourth place for us. That's not too bad. Let's take a look at the standings. First place is a GTR from 93. Oh, and look at that. The Subaru 22B. That's what I was saying was going to be quick. So yeah, because that guy was disqualified, everybody's just going to move up a position from what they're actually got. The guy wrote in Twitch chat. He's like, I'm sorry, Nick. Please don't kick me. All right, you know what? You can stay, but we're gonna give you zero points. Actually, let's give him negative a thousand points. All right, so there we go. Race number one is in the books. We know who can race on a circuit. I was thinking I sort of kind of wanted to punish myself by doing one of the most intense races in the game and one that I've had trouble with over and over and over again, the Titan. I've never actually done very well in this race. Apologies in advance because I doubt it will be any different today. We're gonna do this in the middle of the winter. Yeah, I shouldn't really call this a rally race. This is technically a cross country race. So anyways, we should be good. I hope people are gonna find this one a little bit more difficult. Now we got used to our cars. We have no excuse to not do well here. Well, the GTR currently leading away, but he gets super off balance. That's the GTR gone. We're up to second, and Chris, who came second in the first race, leading this one. Okay, the suspension on this car is really stiff. It bounces around so much. I tried to make it good for both the circuit and off-road. However, it's just really, really bumpy off-road. It's really not very stable, this thing. Oh, the Range Rover's coming now. Whew. Oh my god, I turned in too early there. That was... Yeah, that... That was my... Sorry about the golf cart. I mean, I, I will be honest. Oh, I was just about to say. I will be honest. I'm happy I haven't eaten a wall yet or a church or whatever. He says as he jumps wide and nearly ruins his own race. But fifth place again for the moment. That's not bad. All right, nail it through here. Oh, sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. Oh, the Range Rover ate it. He gone. I'm 17 seconds behind first place. Watch out for the trees. Watch out for the... That's not the racetrack. All right, we're good. We're good. We've still got this crazy massive jump up here. That could change everything. If people don't get a good landing, that's it. They're done. The guy in first place, though, car knobbed. I think he's the guy. Yep. In the bright pink GTR. Leading away, Chris in second place again. Nicely done, lads. Oh, the Range Rover's coming back too. Those guys have built some very serious cars. Like, if you asked me, I would never have said, oh yeah, you know what's a, oh, uh, you remember what I was saying about the landing thing? I would never have said a GTR is one of the best all-rounder cars for Forza Horizon 4. There's no way. Oh, no. Oh my god, we just got bipped by a 177. You remember when I said I hated this race? I think you can see why now. I have never, ever, ever, ever since this game has come out, had a good race here. K177, we've got 15%. We're passing this guy. I guarantee it. All right, first place is already done. Car knobbed. Takes first position. I think that's going to be Chris in second place. I want to get this 177. Send it on the 177. It's all ice. 
Closing in. Closing in on the 177. Ran the bump, bump, bump. I run wide. Come on. Thank you, thank you. That was simply all calculated. Da -dun. Thank you, thank you, boys. And we're not actually going to make it to the line, but card knobbed first place. Bragger client in that M2. That M2 is unbelievably fast. I'm surprised by that 177. I mean, I didn't have a good race, obviously, but that 177, man. Oh, one guy got a DNF. One guy lagged out of the race. That's a huge, huge F. So after two races, Karnobd is winning with 24 points. Chris in second place with 22 points. And then it's gonna be a tie for third place between between me and Bragger Client, both with 17 points apiece. Anyways, we've tested our cross-country ability. Why don't we go and do ourselves a little rally race right down here? A little bit on the road, a little bit off-road. However, this isn't actually gonna be a race. This is gonna be a time attack who has the fastest lap time, one and done. That's all you need. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys four laps for this one just because the first, the first lap is sort of like a, a null lap. And we're also gonna be racing in the spring, so expect a little bit of, uh, of wet weather. So going into this race, Karnobd is the man to beat. Chris is bearing down only two points behind him. We got four laps to set our best lap time possible. Yo, this feels like track mania with everybody's car inside of one another. Well, that's our sighting lap. Now we got to go in and set our best lap time possible. Yo, look at the Range Rover. The Range Rover is actually, for this race, going to have a huge advantage because of his ground clearance. Because we got to go through so much water, I think he's going to do pretty well here. Well, let's go try to keep it clean. Car Nobs is currently up in first. We'll see if he can keep it there in terms of his lap time. You really, really got to focus on your line, though. Use everything. Yo, there's Chris in his bright blue Subaru. Looking good. That would have obvious, honestly have been my choice. The Subarus, I feel, can just do just about everything. I don't know. I like them. Okay, I got to work on that corner line. They're, these guys are way better at it than I am. I'm having a lot of trouble. These guys are breaking in the air. I don't need to break in the air. I got grip for days. Ignore what I just said. How is it every time? Every time I try to compliment my car. Nope. <laughs> Man, I have not had a good lap around here yet. Oh no. Damn it. Okay, well now even my last lap has been compromised a little bit with that poor start. That's really, really annoying. I think I'm going to do terrible here. Honestly, I don't think I'm going to do well here at all. That's really, really not good. Okay, we got to send it. Send it through. Whip it through each and every corner. Hard on the brakes. Turn in. Nicely done. Keep going. Closing in on third and fourth. If I'm catching up, that means I'm going faster. And that means I got a faster lap time, at least right now. Hard on the brakes. I hate this corner. Hate this corner. Hate this corner. It's such a weird corner that I hate the line through it. All right, so that's Car Noob done. 30 seconds for everybody to get to the line and finish up their final flying lap. Let's go. Oh, that's that. Oh, okay, he's had a rough time. It wasn't ideal. It was far from ideal, but let's see. Chris has the fastest lap time. We got to do some math and see what everybody else has. But Chris in the 49.5s. Two guys get DNFs down at the bottom. Car noobed by the looks of it has the second fastest lap time. I think he is going to be getting the dub. So the guys have added up all the points. Wait, <laughs> wait a second. Okay. In third place. Me. <laughs> no way. I finished third place. Well, obviously, I can't win a prize. Your third place winner with 26 points is Bragger Client 84. Congratulations, buddy. What car are you in? That BMW M2. In second place is Chris. Where is Chris? Chris in the Subaru, my Subi Blue. 34 points. You are getting a GT Omega backpack and a cool mouse pad. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. And in first place, your boy in the pink skyline. Where did he go? Oh, there he is. He's already doing his victory burnouts. This man already knows. 
Sir, you are gonna be taking home a chair just like this one. GT Omega is gonna be posting you out a chair of your choice to sit at your desk. They're awesome things. Thank you so much to GT Omega for hooking us up with some awesome goodies. Nicely done, the AR-12 paint job. Congratulations, sir. If any of you guys wanna check out GT Omega, there's a link down below and you can use code AR-12 for a discount. I, I don't actually know what type of discount you get, but give it a go and you might surprise yourself.